What's going on guys? It is day number 13 of 21 Days of Black Ops. I'm bringing you a quick little gun game on Havana. Havana, Cuba. Um, the reason I'm posting this game is because during uh, the game itself it got really intense. Um, I have a really bad start. I keep getting money. screwed over. Uh, and then I have a lot of fun at the end with keeping myself in the game. So, uh, the general, you know, you know, the general rule of thumb to doing well in Call of Duty, I think probably one of the first tips that anyone could give you, like most basic tips, is to reduce the areas in which you could be killed from, meaning stay along the outside of the map, and that's, like, mostly true, uh, for free-for-all, I should say especially true for free-for-all, and, uh, that, that same thing applies for the gun game. Is if you run out in the middle of the street like we're all doing all game this time, you're going to get killed from the side, you're going to get killed from the back, you're gonna, you don't even know where you're going to be killed from. Especially when the explosives start taking effect. Um, you know, you never really know how you're going to die. So my, my overall advice would to be not to play like... Uh, like we're playing right now and running around um, exposing yourself, but everyone was sort of on the same page and everyone was doing the same thing, um, so it actually made for a really uh, a really fun game. And it, during this whole part, you're gonna see me actually that whole part that I was just talking. I got screwed over a bunch of different times, people stealing my kills. That guy just happened to to, to die from uh, like fall damage, so I couldn't get the kill there. And uh, every like like watch this like. This entire, like, twin scorpion time is, like, painful for me. Like, I, I try and get that guy, try and get this guy, run out of ammo, and then I think, uh, I think here I'm going to run across the street or something like that and get screwed again. I don't know. It's just, uh, I'm really liking the gun game, but it is stressful. Like, here we go again. So I missed that guy. I don't get the kill. This guy's up behind me. I don't get the kill there. I try to knife the air, and then, uh... I start shooting at this guy, and I finally get the kill right before I die. I was like, and here I am in fourth place, I'm totally screwed, but um, coming into the uh, the AK-74U, I'm like, I gotta pick up a little bit, little bit, of, a little bit of ground when I get to the, the decent guns, like the mid-range, the meat, the meaty guns, I can, uh, I usually do well, because it sort of, sort of turns into a regular free-for-all. So right here I go on a bit of a tear and I get myself back in the game, and uh, this is like sort of what I'm, I'm trying to say is if you just stay in one spot of the map and uh, you know let let everyone else come to you and, instead of like running out in the middle and chasing kills, um, it's a lot it's a lot harder to do when you have a python as opposed to you know all these high power weapons. I thought I was gonna get that guy and keep this tear going, but uh, he was able to get me before I could turn and get the sights up on this Tonka truck of a gun. Tonka truck? I don't think that's the right term. Uh, like what? Uh, I don't know. Something big and heavy. You know, that's what. I, that's the comparison I was trying to make there. But uh, I've said it before. My worst um, uh, part of the gun game is the sniper rifles. I'm no good with them. I'm no good in general with sniper rifles, especially now that you can't quick scope. You really need to be able to stand still and uh, and line up shots, which the gun game does not lend itself to very well. So what I find is, is sort of smart to do is, is tuck yourself in a corner where you can have decently long uh, sight lines and wait for someone to strafe out in front of you. And actually, I would have to say the worst, the, the thing I'm worst with in the gun game is this friggin' Grim Reaper. It blocks half your screen. You can't see anything on the right of your screen. It takes so long to, to pull the sights up. Uh, and if you hip fired, it could go any 20 ways. Um, so you see here, I'm still in second place, uh, and now I'm going to start humiliating people. I need to, I need to get people um, away from where I am in, in the ranks. So right there, I take first place when I'm first pulling out of the China Lake, and uh, you know I said it in the last gun game that I posted that it's going to be strategic for you guys to to look to see what people have for weapons before you kill them, and if you get if you get the opportunity for the knife, uh, you need to go for it. So. That's what I start to do here, and combine that with the fact that, uh, like, the crossbow has the longest reload animation uh, of anything in my life. You see there, I actually get the stick, but he dies some, from some gunfire or something, uh, so I don't get credit for it. Um, be careful when you're using the crossbow, because if you start to run or you cancel that reload, um, 
before the arrow is firmly in place, then you're going to have to do the entire thing over again. And where it's a one-shot, like, deal, uh, that's a good way to screw yourself over. So here I actually get a sweet kill there. I stick the guy right in the head. And then, so I get up to my ballistic knife, and uh, I have the damnedest I swear to God, I had this guy pegged a couple times, but no go. Um, but he's shooting at me with his crossbow, so I run up and I knife one guy with a crossbow. Then this guy comes up and knifes me, sends me back to the crossbow. And uh, the next few minutes are nothing but knives. So humiliation. And then I think there's another guy right in here with a crossbow. Humiliation. And all, see, notice how I'm still reloading every single time. I have to redo the friggin' reload animation. Um, humiliation. <laughs> oh, and I finally get sniped. I think I sent someone back uh, to a sniper rifle or something like that. They finally got me. I get a kill stolen there. I'm pretty sure I would have had that guy, but he gets nailed with a launcher. Uh, that guy had a ballistic knife, so I made the choice to knife him. So now he's back at the crossbow level. And, uh... I think I end this game with like eight or nine humilia humiliations. Um, I think it was eight, but I, I, I think I single-handedly kept myself in this game. So all I need to do is get two more kills. I've got this guy in a corner. He doesn't even know I'm here, and he's the biggest pain in my ass. Fire it right out the window, and then now I line him up again, and I miss. <laughs> Finally, the explosion gets him. I get my ballistic knife back. And uh, the next guy I run, to, run into, I take my time, and I, I'm right up in his ass, and I make sure I get the kill. But uh, a really exciting game. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. This has been day 13, uh, 21 Days of Black Ops. My name is Fake Thriller. Um, leave a comment as to what you guys think of our new channel layout. Go ahead and check out our main page. Um, I'm really excited with the way it turned out. Uh, so give us a thumbs up on the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like our stuff. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.